Hi right, students, let's look at this question here, this concept here, which is on scalar multiple. Actually, um, well, we have already explored the power, um, the derivative of a power function. So how would we do it when there is a constant in front of the uh, power function? Actually, the answer is pretty simple. Uh, the constant will not affect it. So in fact, you could just bring the constant out. Now, take note, I can't stress this more. It has to be a constant. When you do a deriv de derivation, I think sometimes students think that you could uh, bring out the x out, but actually you can't. So like say this case here, this is not equals to dx ex. Okay, so th because th this is not a constant, you can't bring out bring it out from the 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 uh, d dx. Uh, and also ex is not a constant, obviously. And uh, th this we will learn in a chapter a uh, later chapter. Okay, so just just take note of that, or I'll say, okay, maybe I'll use a simple one. So simple analogy like x uh, and uh, x multiplied with uh, x minus 1 square. Okay, so this is not equals to uh, this. All right, so ju just just take note of that. Okay, this, this is important. Um, so only constant could be brought out. So just make sure that when you bring out a constant, then that's fine. So let's see how we can do this proficiently. So if you are told to find dy dx, so dy dx will just be d dx for root x as such. Okay, so differentiate this. The 4 could be brought out. So this is 4 d dx. Uh, this is x power half. All right. And this will just be 4. So similarly, this is half. x half minus 1 will be minus half. And that would be uh, 2, so it's 1 over 2 root x. Okay, you have to do this carefully. This case here, there's 1 over 2 root x. All right. Uh, oh, sorry, this is 2, not 2. This is 2 root x. Okay. Let's look at b. Similarly for b, if fx is equals to negative 2, x about minus 5. So fx, another notation for fx when we differentiate, we put a prime, f prime x would be minus 2. So you could just bracket this out. You just need to differentiate this, right? Okay, minus 5, x minus 5 minus 1. So this would be 10 x minus 6. So this is how you do this part here. Let's look at the last part. The last part we have fx equals to minus 3 uh, x square. So this would be minus 3 x square. The one below, we're just going to change it to uh, uh, index notation form. So this is x 5 power of half. All right. So this is fx. There you go. Uh, this case here, what we're going to do is minus 3 x 2 square is x5 over 2. And what we're going to do next is actually minus 3, x2 minus 5 over 2. Um, King calculator, uh, 2 minus 5 over 2 is actually, 2 minus uh, 5 over 2 is actually negative half. So negative 3, x minus half. Okay, so now we're going to differentiate this. So remember, fx equals to negative 3, x minus half. So f prime x, now f prime means we differentiate that already minus 3 minus half x minus half minus 1. Just use a formula and this would just be 3 over 2 x negative 3 over 2. Okay, so this is how we do this question here proficiently. Any question or comments, please do let us know. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next uh, question.